Well guys, as you can imagine, uh, after that mud spine whack test, got a little bit of grit going on. You can hear it. And uh, I tried to clean it, tried to blast it out, but it's still in there. So I'm going to do what you're not supposed to do, and that is take apart a strider. Um, they don't want you taking it apart. But anyways, I'm going to do it. So to do that, I had already purchased a uh, aftermarket spanner tool here. Uh, so it's got the little spanner piece that removes the bull pivot, goes in those grooves there. And then it also has the correct Torx bit for removing the rest of the hardware. Now sometimes on these striders you don't really need that. Uh, you can just on this side, you can use a normal hex and undo it. Sometimes you can use a normal hex on this side and then just kind of fashion a little something to do it. On this one though, you definitely need this. Uh, I already broke the Loctite on here. And, you know, as you can see, I had to actually get a screw. I was trying to do it with uh, just this ring on there and kind of using that to crank on it. Wouldn't freaking budge. It was uh, Loctited pretty, pretty dang well. So, we're going to finish taking this sucker apart here. I'm actually spinning. So I'll need to... Uh, Stop it on that side, there we go. Yeah, like I said, sometimes they Loctite this thing like crazy, sometimes not so much. Of course, if it's already been broken, then pretty good to go. So yeah, I just wanted to, I figured, since I had to take this part and clean it, maybe you guys would be interested on uh, what the inside of the Strider looks like. I know there's lots of other stuff out there that already or lots of other people that uh, already do videos on it, but I haven't, so why not? Uh, being an SNG, this one only has three torque screws on the body here. SMF would have four, so that'll make it a little quicker. Gotta say, oh wow, that one actually came out the back there. Gotta say, it uh, did pretty good in the mod, I think. I mean, uh, I don't know how everything else would perform, but anyway, so here it is. Uh, as you can see, it's one piece. So this is all milled out of a solid piece of uh, G10 that thick. This is all just discarded. And what you're left with is a single piece here. Makes a really, really rigid, rigid design. Here's your TI section. Tons of grit in those uh, washers there. And then so on this side you have these uh, female pieces, and if we can focus, there's mud on it. But they're actually, they're knurled around the edges here, so it's got this hard cut texturing over here. And then it's split right there so that when you go to screw it in, it expands and it keeps them from free spinning in here. You know, it's stuff like that that they could have... Uh, easily skimped on you know it's not necessary they could have just done regular rings and made it your problem if you're trying to undo it but uh, they didn't here's the inside of the TI it's all muddy got mud packed in here see so yeah, I'll have to do some uh, do some cleaning on here two washers fawn fr bronze phosphorus fawns brosphorus Got some gunk on there. So yeah, I'm going to get this all cleaned up. No reason for you guys to watch that. I'm going to be using some Ballastol. Uh, basically, I don't lube per se any of my knives, but I wipe it down with Ballastol. And you know whatever residue is left is enough lubrication for me. Uh, Alright guys, take it easy. Later. Okay guys, got her all back together. If you can hear that. Really smooth. No more grittiness. Perfectly solid right back to where it was. All right guys.